um, the dude is better at dealing with the bosses. Come on, 2P. Come on, 2P. Come on. So. Wait, okay, so up, and then let go. Right. Oh, look at that! Yeah, she actually... Oh, little this. Or down. Holy crap, they all do it. Okay, so hers is just... You can kind of just turn around. Oh, look at that! Oh, you can actually very smoothly ro rotate the D-pad. And it just kind of flows. So if, I, if you do it slow, it's just kind of like... And then you can go fast, kind of... Wow! I had no idea you could actually... Alright, well then next time I gotta try it with the dude, too. That's pretty cool. I wonder what the dude's is like, then. Because he just kind of fans or doesn't fan, so I feel like it wouldn't be all that interesting, but that's still pretty cool. Spin to win, heck yeah, dude. So I can just, when I do fast posing now, I can kind of just... Yeah. Cool. This is the only game I know of now that has a button that is dedicated to posing. That is cool. <laughs> I like this pose here. It's like she's trying to hide from you, but not well. She's like, you can't see me, right? You can't see- It's, it's better on the right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's funny. Advanced posing, very good. Thank you, thank you. I'm trying, you know, it's just... Every time I play, you know, a little better, a little better. You can learn some new stuff. I'm trying. Ooh, dang. Uh, that was it. Nice! I'm gonna get hit! Oh, man, that was close. Alright. Jeez. I wonder if you have to kill them to get food, or if it doesn't matter. Like, it's just random, or they don't even drop it. I haven't really paid too much attention. <laughs> I should- I want to make a tutorial video about this game and just express how important it is to pose and that's the whole tutorial. It's just like, you know, I, I, I barely touch on like advanced boss strategies or anything like that. I'm just like, now make sure you pose at this time and right here and you gotta do it like this. It's gonna be very important. I think a lot of people would really appreciate that. Be like at first they'd be like, dude, your tutorial is freaking stupid. But then they play the game and they're like, wow, like, wait a minute, this guy was onto something. Like I understand now. All right, I'm gonna try to actually kill one of them. Well, maybe. Oh, he did drop food. Okay, so you just gotta make sure you kill him. Don't touch the food, I need that. Oh, don't touch. I wonder what she's saying when she does her special move. You missed. <laughs> Nice kick. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very important. It's very important. I wish this game 
had a little more to it. Because it's like, I feel like it's it's got a great foundation. Whoa! Oh, man. But I feel like it could, it's, it could definitely stand to have more. Oh, I don't know if I can actually... Oh. Nice. Okay. A little damage there, but that's okay. I missed her pose testing. I was having issues and Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, Tinker Toy. You're gonna see plenty of it. It's making me physically uncomfortable. <laughs> Sorry. Dinner time! How about it? Can we get something good? Yum, yum, yum. At least like 30 something. Oh, come on! Okay. That one, I, I think that one is actually. I don't know. Not very good. Oh no! Oh. Just totally stealing her food. You only choose yeah only two and it matters what order you choose them in so if i choose like steak and mushroom it's one thing if i choose mushroom and steak it's another uh, which is kind of interesting i wouldn't have expected it to do that but it apparently does so it's something to definitely keep in mind when you're making your choices and on top of that i think if you eat something like um, steak and mushroom, and then if you have steak and mushroom again in the next stage, it'll actually give you less because you had it before or something. But that that is like totally unconfirmed. It's just I think it might be like that because I seem to recall thinking like, oh, that healed me really well. I'm gonna do that again, and then I did it again, and it's oh come on, come on. Uh, and then I did it again, and it, it only gave me like half or something, and I thought, wait a minute, didn't I do that before? And I'm fairly certain that I did. I think, anyway. Oh! Dang! I'm sorry. Wow. That does... Sound pretty nice, to be honest. I'm sorry. How rude of me and inconsiderate. I'm just in so much trouble tonight. Yes. Kinoko. Why are we walking on big robot feet? I don't know. But we are. Oh, this is new. Where'd he go? Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Uppercut, he tried to shuriken, wow. Nice, man. It's fun fighting him. They are feet? Yeah, they totally are. Yeah, the big old robo feet. All right, um, Kinoko and boy, we do not have a good selection of food right now. Ugh. Jeez. Um. Okay. Uh, tofu and I guess some some vegetables. What happens if I do tofu first, and then vegetable? Dinner time. <laughs> that looks yummy, how about it? Oh. Alright, well, better than zero. Thank you. That was close. close too. And there are some dudes here that are icky. I gotta be careful. Uh-oh. Aw. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh, I didn't see that one coming, though. Freaking bunny lady, why? The angle of superpose matters. Good question. No, it doesn't seem to. Alright, Tinker Toy, pay attention. I'll try to do some advanced posing for you. So you can you can rotate around, and she actually just kind of follows with the controller. You can do it slow, or you can do it really fast and kind of twirl. But it's pretty cool. But you got like these side poses and stuff. And you just kind of pick which direction you want her to face, and it works on the angles and the four cardinal directions. It's quite silly. Nice dodges, alright. I like this one the most where you face right, because it looks like she's trying to hide from you. <laughs> she's like, you can't see me, you can't see me! Careful! Aww! Oh, it hit her friend! Whoa, and she's on fire and freaking out! Wow! Unexpected. Nice. Oh, oh, okay. It's 
fun combo to do. What are you doing? Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Middle of the level, but they didn't make you like dip down when you walk across it. Oh, good point. I didn't really think about that, but you're right, yeah. Yeah, hers isn't as exciting. That's I agree with that. And I feel like the other guys is going to even be less exciting. But it's just cool that you can actually use the different directions. I had no idea. Apparently this game was made by the same dudes who made Cho Aniki. That explains everything. I know that name, but I haven't played it. But I definitely... That sounds so familiar. Cho Aniki. Why do I know that? Girl, you need to watch out. Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh! Oh! What are you doing? Cho Aniki. Okay, posing does not work on those, guys. I think this is the boss. Super bunny. No! Why is that happening? It's very strange. I don't understand it. Oh. Are the controls, like, messed up on the stage or something? Like, there is something really strange about me trying to do my dash jump kick in this stage. I don't know what the problem is, but it does not like me doing it. Oh no, let me go, let me go, that hurts a lot, ouch! What are you doing? health. I missed. Oh. Again, with the kick. I don't understand why it does that. It only seems to do it in this fight, I swear. Oh. Uh. Remember when I used to have a whole bunch of health? Remember that time? Oh, I didn't even know it could do that. trouble with that fight with her and it's it's mostly because of that jumping thing I, I swear I maybe it's my controller my, the right on my controller is a little weak it's the only thing I can think of apparently you can play as some of the enemies uh, yes you can uh, we were testing that yesterday um, we played uh, 10 of them and then apparently there's even more you can access with like a pro action replay kind of thing it was pretty cool although not very, like, long-lasting fun, but cool. 
Okay, that was tofu and the- ooh, that looks good. Yeah, there you go, finally! Tofu and the big meat. Steak, I think. Good, alright. Sorry, Tinker Toy. I think you should just mute the stream during the cooking parts. Because I understand. It's just the goodness. <laughs> it did. Yeah, it did. I can't hit- oh, thank you, okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Okay. Can you jump on her? Jump on her, there you go. It didn't even combo her, that's weird. Man, when you set people on fire and it just the way it chains like that, it's pretty interesting. Nice. Oh, no, no, no! Sometimes I forget those little dudes pop out of those mechanical things. Sometimes you get locked into certain maneuvers that you don't really want to do, and then it just kind of isn't much you can do. You just gotta kind of go with it. Good. So, it seems to be a little more forgiving about audio desyncing. Why is that happening? I didn't th I didn't change like anything. Thank you for telling me, but yeah, I haven't changed like a single thing in terms of settings as far as I know. So, I have no idea why it's freaking out like that. No, um, let me close a couple things and maybe that'll calm it down a little. Okay. No idea though. Thank you for telling me. I thought I would have hit him through that. Okay. Apparently not. Uh oh. 
And it doesn't bother me at all since I'm not watching like super seriously. Uh, no, I still I, I do prefer it. I can stop. Oh, I missed it. Um, no, no, no. Please do, because um, I like to make you know I like to have highlights of of my gameplay and stuff like that. And if it's out of sync, then it's it really takes away. Um, no, it's important. I appreciate it. I I I I yeah. I'd want to be told every time, for sure. That was close. No, don't hit me! Don't hit me! What are you doing? I can hit you, but you can't hit me. That's that's the way it works. Oh, the way it works. Those little dudes are troublemakers because they actually hide very well. Oh. What is going on? Maybe my controller is having issues, or maybe this game has some issues with jumping sideways. That jumping thing is happening here too now. I'm not really sure what to make of that. Because when I move from left to right, I don't feel like I have any issues at all. Like, you know, you feel it if you're in your normal movements. But, uh... Do you have another controller? I, I have, like, 50. I'm not even kidding. But when I move left to right on the ground, it's fine. So it, sh it shouldn't be my controller. Um... I think it's just some kind of a game mechanic that I'm not familiar with. And it's like, oh. And it's just messing with me. Because... No other problems with left and right. Not at all. Should definitely notice it otherwise if it, if it was a controller issue. Can you get off my head, please? Okay. The only thing I can think of is maybe when you execute a uh, jump kick, you have to be very specific for some reason. I, I really don't know why, but yeah, that's all I can think of. It's uh, kind of obnoxious. I'm just, I'm gonna have to do like where I just put in extra effort to really make sure that my uh, inputs are very uh, intentional. that noise? Is that- I swear I just heard like a weird noise. I 
think, anyway. Maybe it was the timer. Indicating that it's low or something? Hmm, that was interesting. Okay, this guy. Right, she's doing good. Well, she was. See? Like right there, I I just want to do my overkick, so I think what I need to do is just stop trying to run and jump kick, because that's that's when it happens. It's it's dashing and jump kicking. So as long as I don't do that, I think it'll be fine. All right, I don't have any tofu. That's unfortunate. Um, let's see, toliniku. Um, we have any fish? We do. No, wait. Where is it? Sakana, we do. I think... What is the one that was... See, I don't even know if this is really worth it, though. Fish and protein, but it only says 20, so... Hmm. Almost sounded like a jingle or something. You did hear it! Okay! Yeah, I, I've never heard that noise before. It uses it to stand when knocked down and also as an attack. Nose jet? Wait, or perhaps rocket. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Techno. Timing down, it's not seconds. Um, I don't know, it's probably just some arbitrary number that they put in there, and I guess... I'm guessing you die if it gets to zero. I don't know if I've ever had it get to zero. Let's hope not. Um... I guess we'll do vegetables and, uh, pork or whatever this is. I really want to play as the chef. He looks like he would be awesome. How about it? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Good. Oh, this stage. Alright, this stage is a thing. Come on. Come on! Stupid diver guys. Way too much health. I hate these diver guys. <laughs> Oh, he gave me good meat. Nice. That came in fast. Oh, no! Ah! Good combo. When you see little, like, poofiness above their head, uh, like, there's, there's, like, these little things popping out of their head, usually, um, 
It's like little watery looking things or something. I don't know how to describe it. But I think that means they're grabbable. It's like they're kind of s not stunned exactly, but sort of stunned. Look out, look out! Oh no! Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. She died quick. Okay, I don't like this. There's a lot of enemies. Is that noise again? There it goes again. Maybe it's sometimes when you pick up food or something, it's kind of I don't know. Oh man, how did he? This is a tough area. No, 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 no! Oh boy. Time left. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna make tofu and the good meat again and see what happens. Wait, wait. Is that it? Yeah. So before this gave us a lot. This gave us like 45 or 54 or something. In this order. I think we're about to fight the boss. Okay, see, even it looks really good. But only 18. Yeah. See? What the heck? Oh, man. Oh, my partner's gone. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, my God. 
Really scary. Did I beat it? Is that it? Oh! I did it! There you go! I wonder if we get any better ending or anything. I really hope we get something different. Wow. Whew. Wait, is this different? I don't remember this. I don't know what the heck it says, but... I don't, this doesn't seem familiar. I think we got a different ending here. Maybe? I'll have to go back and look at the footage. Wow. Well, that's, there you go, that's, that's hard mode, I don't think there's anything harder than that, um... That was... tricky, that was definitely tricky, I mean, um... Jeez, I... Ugh. I was, I was nervous again there that I wasn't gonna make it, I... Like, part of me was like, alright, I wanna move on to the next game, but another part was like, you know, not without, you know, getting it done. You know me, I, I, I don't like to let go. I really don't. Ugh. Wow. Well, that was, um... That was fun. I just noticed you can't, uh... You can't see the lights on camera. I'll have to mess with that. I didn't realize they were off camera. It didn't make a sound when there weren't other sounds, so never mind. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if anything else happens here. Uh. I think before when I didn't touch anything, I think it it just went back to the main menu. By now, I think. I guess we'll just leave it here for a moment? Oh, oh, there it go. Okay, maybe just... Oh! Hmm. Now, we gotta go and check the options, because... Well... I, I doubt anything's changed, but... After finding out, like, in Thunder Force, or... You know, see any hidden difficulty or anything? No? Okay. Oh, man. But before we move to another game, or you're done for the night, we still need to check creepy hair tumor dude's poses. Oh, you're right! Yes! You're absolutely right. Let's put it on medium. Since we're farting around now. Continue? Continue? But I beat the game! We're gonna continue, and we'll just... Where are we continuing? The end? What? What is this, like, New Game Plus? Okay, here we go. So, I'm holding, uh... Oh, okay, so if I hold A, he actually closes it and just stands like this. So pressing down does nothing. So we're just gonna press up and it does that, but then left kinda... Oh, it's like in a little bit. He's, like, thinking about it. So if we roll it from down right to right to up right to up, and then back around... Oh, so you can just kinda... <laughs> Whoa, 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 there it is. Yeah, not, not all that great. So why did it let me select continue and then... Everything so far is the same. Just, we're gonna play for another moment here just to see if something is different or if it's just whatever. Why would they have this song on the medium difficulty and then not on hard? I like this song. 
And you know, actually, that makes me wonder now. Um... So... What happens if you play it on easy? Does that give you, uh, another di uh, sound? Questions. <laughs> I think it's the same, so I'm just gonna croak here. Maybe extra cutscene? Um... I don't know. I don't know, but... I gotta go back and check that ending, because I think we got a, a different ending screen. I think. Obviously, you need to beat the game on hard as the light bulb dude that dies in one hit. Or as... a can. I don't think... Oh, it made a sad little sound. I don't think I want to do that. I'm sorry. I don't think I have it in me. Alright, so this... Is, we're putting it on easy now. So let's see if the music is... Well... Continue again, huh? Whatever. Let's see what the music's like. Oh. I continued from here. Right. Sure, I should have uh, realized that. I, I, okay, that didn't even hurt me. Maybe because easy. Okay, we'll start a new game. Let's see what happens. Please hit me. Thank you. As for the next game, um, I'm thinking like maybe Mech Warrior 3050, Super Smash TV, or I don't know, something else. Okay, start. Let's try this again. Oh, so it's this... Oh, so apparently only hard mode. Really feeling that easy difficulty? It seemed like the damage was a little less. Because, yeah, it's... You still take a decent amount, it seems. Now they... Man, he hits you for a lot less. Seems like... Well, maybe not a lot, but... Okay. Alright, well, I'm satisfied. Um, Smash TV, your feelings, you want, are you, are you putting your vote towards that? Is that, is that what you want to see, man? Smash TV? I think we could do that. I think we could do that. If that's what you're feeling. I need to change the stream title. Bring it up here. Actually, um... Hmm. You know what, before I do that, I, I want to do something real quick. Um, yeah. Yes, I do. Um, because I had, uh... I had fun the other night with Doom and explaining some things uh, about my playthrough. And I, there is actually a couple things I just want to comment on real quick about my playthrough of this game. Um, not a whole lot I have to say, but just a couple things. Um, so let me see here. I had fun with that. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. And then we'll, we'll do a uh, Smash TV. Alright, 
how do I want to set this up? I think I could just put it over the game. Just hide that momentarily. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Capture this. Turn off the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Go for it. I love the Andy Bragg segment. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of bragging here. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, we'll do window capture when I find it. There we go. Things are a little different with OBS. Uh... What are we capturing? Is it that one? 2018. Yeah, there we go. Is that gonna? Is this gonna work? Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Put that. Oh wait. But then I can't see chat. Hang on. Wow, that's beautiful. Hang on. Let me fix this. We're making art, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I think that's good. And then if I click that, does that show up properly? Is that, oh, I think it does, oops. Let's see. Now is the camera right though? Yeah, oh, okay, cool, all right. I think this is working, yeah. All right, uh, let's 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 jump ahead real quick. Um, Cause yeah, like I said, there's just a couple things I wanted to mention about this. Which one is the final playthrough? There we go. Because we had a couple attempts there. There we go. Cool. All right. Okay. Um. So. Um, see, I, like I said, I don't, I don't really have a whole lot to say about, uh, this, but there are just a couple things. Um, let's, let's see what we find here. Um, starting area, pretty straightforward, honestly. Um, and I think most of it is self-explanatory too. So I'm not going to mention little things, uh, too much unless there's something that catches my eye. Um, there, yeah. this boss here, um, this, this one was like, it's kind of weird actually. Like some of the bosses I felt like I, I, um, when I was like fighting it, I, I was like, all right, I understand its mechanics. And if I understand the mechanics, uh, I shouldn't, shouldn't get hit at all. Most likely. But this boss, I actually, I, every time I fought it, I was always like, I actually have no, idea what to entirely expect from this boss. In fact, I think this might be the most unpredictable boss in the game. Um, for me, anyway. Because it has quite a few different attacks, and when it's going to do the attack, and what the attack is, um, I, I, I never really know. Um, so, like, the ones that are dangerous, though, to me, are um, that thing there. It's like, just don't hit it when it's doing that power up. And then this right here, that little slide where it goes along the ground. I don't seem to be able to hit it there. I've tried jump kicking it and stuff, and usually I, I regret it. Um, so, it, oddly enough, yeah, this this seems to be kind of the most unpredictable boss. Fortunately, though, it's it doesn't seem to hurt a lot, and it's not too dangerous. I just I don't know what to expect from this thing. Um, and it's really weird looking. 
I still don't know how to do any of that cooking. I this I like this area here. This is every time we get to this part in the game, uh, I like this a lot too. This is like my second favorite area. I like the beginning of the stage, the the game there the most, and then this is my second favorite because it's just the attention to detail. Like I every time I'm playing through this, I I didn't comment on it because I'm trying not to die. Um, but I just, I like all the little, look, if you look around the scenery here, you just got a lot of attention to detail to make it look all run down. I mean, they, they didn't have to put in all the little stuff that they did, but, um, well, I, I just think it made it look really good. So, um, I don't know, just admiring the work that the artists took the time to do here. I think it's impressive. Um, let's see. This boss, okay. I figured I was going to be mostly talking about the bosses. You know, the big feet here. Those guys are a pain. They hurt. Um, but this guy, this guy I feel like is probably the easiest boss. Um, he's seems to be pretty darn predictable for the most part. He's like, I, I my strategy is just um, kind of get in there. Um, yeah, wait for her to die first so I, she doesn't mess up my pattern. Because once she dies, I actually feel much more comfortable. But it's just kind of like, do some damage and then get away from him while he freaks out and does something. Wait for him to calm down, which now he's calm. So it's like, alright, just jump at him, do some damage, do the super move. Then he's going to be upset again, so then get away. See, he tried to shuriken me there. Uh, he, he actually freaks out sometimes and does that shocking thing, but he didn't do that. But yeah, I mean, I didn't even get hit there. And that's like the second time I, I've done that. So he, he's really not too bad. That sounds good, Tinker Toy. This stage, uh, no, nothing really to say about the stage itself. Pretty straightforward again with the fighting and all that. Um, cool to look at. Um... I thought it broke for a second. Okay. Oh, this boss. All right. This boss is actually, uh, I think, the second most difficult, maybe. But it was mostly because my freaking um, inputs um, kept whiffing against this boss. Like, I just, all I wanted to do was a dashing jump kick to hit her and catch her. And it, just so many times. So I. That's that's what I was saying. I just I gave up. It's like all right, doing a dashing jump kick is just not working too well. Um, but the regular seems fine. But you see how you can just catch her and then just deal out a ton of damage. So when you actually get it right, it's it seems like a pretty good strat. So and she seems pretty straightforward too. But yeah, I th I think she's maybe even like she might be the worst boss or the second. I I don't know. Maybe. Maybe the the worst because she has a lot of health and um, she she does have some attacks that are definitely problematic. So in this fight, I was definitely more nervous uh, just because the junk like that. She really was cooking my health. So and you see, she's just being a pain. And then this thing here, this is very unpredictable too, actually. I feel like this this guy is actually really not too bad. I just don't know what he's going to do. So I'm just, as I'm fighting him, I'm like, all right, just watch his movements. And then if he starts to lift off, just get away. So it's it's not even really too bad. It's just kind of pay attention. So he's he's not awful. Like, really, I feel like this whole game is not too bad in terms of the challenge. It's just kind of get your execution right and then don't let it fall apart. And then, uh, oh, dude. And then um, just the in-between stuff. Like, that's actually where I found a lot of the challenge, too. Like, these diver guys, um, like, just trying to get them separate so I can execute. Like, th the problem is in, like, for example, Final Fight. Excuse me. In Final Fight, you can um, grab somebody right away. And then when you grab them, you can kind of exercise some crowd control right off the bat because like with Hagger, you do like a Suflex or a pile driver. As soon as you grab, you're just done. Um, and then uh, that's it. But, uh, and, and then you hit enemies out of the way. But in this, you don't, you don't have that right away. You have to stun them. And that time that you're trying to get them stunned and then execute your move, you're usually got one coming up on you. So that was actually one of the biggest challenges I was facing is just trying to deal with an abundance of enemies uh, attacking me. So, 
and I didn't really have the best strat. Most of the time I was kind of like, all right, just try to get one by itself when I can and then deal with it. Um, and then if there's more than one, if I can lock them in like a punch combo, cool, or just um, try to separate them with finestral posing or something. And then this boss, yeah. This boss is, um, I feel like he's probably the second or most kind of dangerous. Hard to say. Also, I never really looked at the background of here, so that's, ew. I think it's a big heart back there, and there's a bunch of, like, organic stuff. This level's creepy. I've never looked at it because I was just so focused. Not really, anyway. And so that's a hand coming out of his chest. Gross. That's a weird dude. But yeah, he's... I feel like he's the kind of boss where if you can maintain control, he's really not that bad. But if, if things get away from me, then it's like, oh, you know, I'm just getting punished. This stage... This is a final stage here. Just all the enemies that you come across, the amount of health they have, and that problem I was talking about with just trying to control them. Uh, by this point, like, once I started getting about here... And dealing with this, in my mind, I honestly was like, kind of like, oh man, I don't think I'm going to make it. Like, I really wasn't sure I was going to make it because um, just everything is pretty darn tough and, and I was really losing health. And then this freaking jerk dancing on my head. Ugh, it was getting scary, but I was like, I'll just keep playing the game until something happens. And I got lucky here because I was punching and attacking and I hit the thing as it came onto the screen. The, the little flying dude, I managed to just kind of catch him before he went for me, which was nice because if he hit me, I don't think it would have killed me, but I think it would have been basically one HP till dying. So that was close. And then this right here actually was like a nice morale boost picking up my helper because you can see my health just got a nice chunk back and that really was like, all right, I, I feel like I have a better chance here anyway. Because um, I knew I wasn't like too far from the boss, but I didn't know exactly how far. And then once it switched screens here, I was like, oh man, I get to eat. And then we got a, a fair meal here. And then this boss, I feel like he's really, he's not too bad as long as you pay attention. Um, like, my strat is super simple on this guy. It's just like, when he goes into that eyeball thing, well, don't get hit by that laser, which I, I forgot it did the laser. I, I, I messed up. I was just like, oh yeah, it does the laser. That right there, it seems like you have to use a low kick. So I just slide kick it and then try to get the eyeball. But this is the best phase for him to be in i feel like because you can just punish the eyeball and then as soon as he does that I, I don't even mess around i'm like just forget it wait for him to do that vacuum thing that it pulls you in like right here because uh in case anybody doesn't know i'm fighting like a current he's like pulling you in so i'm just fighting that and then as soon as he goes back to eyeball mode just give him the business and I, I gotta be honest i was expecting like maybe him to have a different attack or another phase or something after this, since it was hard mode. Um, so I was kind of surprised. That that caught me off guard, by the way. He, he did that pretty quick. Um, but I, yeah, I was kind of surprised that he didn't really... There, there wasn't much more. It was a little disappointing. I was, I was actually hoping for just a, a little something. Oh, this was freaking scary. I was trying to run away. Watch. As soon as uh, he goes into his, his little suction mode. I was trying to do my run. But I whiffed my input like three times, and he almost got me, and I was panicking. I, Because if he catches me with that attack, I think it might have killed me, or if not, then just barely killed me. Like, oh man, so close. So I was like really scared, and I was like, can we please just end this? So that was that was really, really close there. Fun fight, though. Fun to just kind of get in there, combo him, and then get away. Not the most uh, involving, but it's something. And then I don't know why they make him have a food drop, but whatever. Anyway, that's that's it. I, I Like I said, I didn't have a whole lot to share about it, but I did want to share those couple things with you.